Hi there, it's Mark and Danica. Danica and Mark here in my home. And I have the pleasure of getting to have her with me for these readings again from the Golden Present Daily Inspirational Readings by Sri Swami Satchidananda. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you took a yoga class this late afternoon and I taught mm -hmm. one, to, taught a class later and then we had dinner. A lot of dinner. A lot of food. Feeling a little like this, but we're going to do this. But also happy. It's very it's really good for you. That's true. We're nourished. Mm -hmm. February 27th, the topic is by your very thought. Your thought, ideas, and energy can be transferred without even seeing or touching a person. By your very thought, you can send your energy and thought forces anywhere you want. Touching or seeing are limited in a way. In touching, you are only using your body. In seeing, you are limited to the sense of sight. But the flow of energy is not limited to these things. It can travel fast. Thought forces are even more powerful than physical forces. And Tuna's voice is more powerful <laughs> than um, her presence. <laughs> <clears throat> Thought forces are more powerful than physical forces. Mm -hmm. By your very thought. Hmm. Uh, this is kind of like what we were just talking about mm. from my yoga class when she's. Um, oh, yeah. So my yoga Perfect. teacher Perfect example. said today the most wonderful thing. She's, she was um, giving a Dharma talk and she was saying, you know, remember a time when you're in traffic and you have somebody tailgating you. And, um, you know, sometimes you get angry with them and then you react to them. She's like, and instead, just remember a time when you were tailgating because you were in a hurry. And for whatever reason, she's like, maybe they're late to work and they're going to get in trouble when they get to work because they don't hurry and get to work. And she said, you just pull over the car and let them pass and say, I love you. <laughs> That's the best. I know. And then what does that do? Your, your whole energy mm -hmm. and your whole nature for yourself in that moment mm -hmm. shifts and of course I believe too you're sending mm -hmm. out energy to that person that could shift the experience for them yeah, too exactly it's a good example because um they can't hear you no. right so this yeah. is saying you know the flow of energy right but um you know what does it do for either of you if instead you slow the car down and you honk and turn and look at them and use a something on this <laughs> or you know <laughs> yeah right it's true it makes me think about <clears throat> people who you may be angry with or upset with or frustrated with in the world that does being um, getting worked up and getting angry and then, you know, slamming something down in your mm -hmm. house or throwing something because you're pissed off at something mm -hmm. you're seeing on the TV. Like, is that contributing to that wave of intensity or is it helping to calm it? Mm -hmm. And so... I mean, my sense from what I'm reading here is that it's more agitation sends more agitation. Mm -hmm. But what if we took a practice in that calmed us and centered us and we mm -hmm. sent, you know, that energy forward? Mm -hmm. Would that yeah. person maybe feel that? You know? Well, for sure. I mean, it's like when someone walks into a room, either you feel good about it or you don't. Mm -hmm. You could tell immediately. There's a, yeah, there's mm -hmm. like a vibe, you call mm -hmm. it, you know. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. I mean, you know, I work in a hair salon. And, um, Plum Organic Beauty. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I work in a hair salon all day, every day. I have for a long time. And, you know, we have hairdressers that come in. We have um, clients, clients that come in. And it really, the space changes throughout the day, depending on who's in there. And if um, <clears throat> most of us get along really well, you know, and if we're all in there getting along quite well, it's, it's wonderful. But, you know, we have clients that come in with all kinds of stuff and you know as hairdressers and people who work there we you know come, you come in with your stuff you know so having that daily practice really impacts my place of work right because if frustrated clients come in and I remain calm then you know because people come in frustrated all the time you know the traffic is you know mm -hmm. we're busy our lives are very busy you know so they are always very happy to be there but if they come in you know with the frustrations of the world I always feel like it's my job to have a practice where that my energy is always good so that they can. I 
to have a place to feel a uh, refuge. That's beautiful. It made me, I just thought of this. I don't think I even shared this with you yet, mm. but I was walking <clears throat> home um, a few nights ago and down my street, there's a high school, Mission High School. And I heard all this noise and there were all these, I guess it was late afternoon, all these kids had gotten out from school and then the sound was escalating as I got closer to the school. Mm. And then it, I was like, I think there's some fighting. Like Something's mm. happening. I look up and I see um, a guy and a girl punching at each other. Oh. And I was shocked. I had, I just was like, I hadn't oh. seen something like that. And they weren't play punching. It was they like really trying to punch. Nobody was getting punched in the face, but they were hitting the arms and then swinging. Wow. And I just stopped and all the other kids were kind of egging it on or ignoring it or, and I just, I, I yelled, no, really? and I yelled it again. And then I yelled it again until I kind of got some of the kids attention mm -hmm. and some of them kind of laughed a little bit like, oh, he thinks there's something, you know, he thinks yeah. there's, he's getting all excited. And I'm like, yeah, you're right. So I did say something, but then I stayed there because mm -hmm. I didn't know what else to say, but I just kind of was being a witness yeah. to show a presence of somebody who was not agreeing. Mm -hmm. And it eventually kind of dissipated. And I felt a bit frozen, but I also knew like just my presence mm -hmm. being there. And I did give, you know, I did share yeah. some of my thoughts like, through through voice. Right. But then just the presence. And, and I just saw something where um, something similar happened that was shared on YouTube. Oh, about, interesting. About someone actually shooting. Did you hear about this? Mm -mm. Yeah, it was just like a, a racial thing. and um, But in any event, just being able to be that presence um, can shift the energy. Yeah. And like you're talking about holding space for people when they come in. They may come into the salon with a certain kind of mood, mm -hmm. but I can just imagine that it eventually softens mm -hmm. because rather than you egging it on, mm -hmm. oh, you're right. Oh, that sounds like a terrible mood. Yeah. There's, I bet I can imagine you kind of help soften that. I um, tried. Yeah. Hopefully. Hopefully I do. Yeah. Yeah. But it's interesting too, because how it's saying, you know, touching and seeing are limited, right? Mm -hmm. And um, even just the energy, um, like touching, seeing, or using your voice, um, you know how if somebody who is up to no good, even if they touch you, you're like, oh. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because even if they're, even if they're touching you kindly, there's, there's that sense. Yeah. Right. Of, yeah. But I, I know somewhere inside you, you're up to no good. Or if somebody's telling you one thing, but you just, you can tell. You know, well, that's you. the energy being more powerful, right? That's right. Yeah, you almost don't need words. You don't mm -hmm. need anything else. But it's, I talk about this in yoga class, you know, having people ground themselves and connect that their energy is bigger than the physical body. Mm -hmm. You can send your energy down to feel rooted, feel connected mm -hmm. to the earth, to the floor send it upwards, you know, mm -hmm. feel connected. And it's helping people recognize, yeah, there's more to it than just this mm -hmm. physical body we can we can see with our eyes. There is there is this wave of other... Yeah. So how would you, um, how can you tell everybody, how would you practice at home and then continue practicing when you got in the world? Because I think this is one of those things, you remember the last time we did this, we were talking about doing the yeah. best you can. Yeah. And I was saying, no, we're not doing the best we can. <laughs> right. Um, because... You know, I, I, I recently got angry at someone in traffic, and I, I think I was talking about this and how I felt so guilty. Mm -hmm. And I rarely do that. So, you know, I, it's very rare that I get upset in the car, so maybe I was just having an off day or whatever <laughs> it was. But, um, you know, how is it that we're able to practice walking into a room with positivity? You know, how can we share that? Because I think a lot of times people are like, well, they deserved it because... You know, that girl, she, the girl I got upset with, she was really, she would not stop honking at me. I mean, she really, <laughs> she really wouldn't, you know, mm -hmm. and um, it would be really easy for me to say, well, she was just asking for it because she was honking. But the truth is, you know, I felt guilty immediately because I was like, she didn't deserve that. Who knows what was going on for her, mm -hmm. you know, and um, how can, you know, this be, this talk be an encouragement for, I feel like, how do you do it? It's that idea of, um, Something to the effect of putting yourself in someone else's shoes. Oh, yeah, that's what this is. Yeah, mm -hmm. or love your neighbor as yourself kind mm -hmm. of thing. So we tend to just get pulled into our own little drama and forget that other people have their dramas mm -hmm. going on just as well. And when we can remember, like you said, with the 
what Steph said, mm -hmm. there has been t there have been times when you have been that person. Mm -hmm. You know, there have been times when I've yelled at someone, mm -hmm. and I know what that feels like to yeah. be in either side of that. Mm -hmm. So if we're not practicing something that keeps that perspective, then we just keep self indulging in our own experience. And totally. I feel like mm -hmm. when we remember, I love that self indulging in our own experience. Right, because yeah. a lot of times that's what we're doing. We're like, well, they deserved it mm -hmm. because blah blah blah, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. Or even just beyond that, like whatever is going on inside of you, like self-indulging in your own thoughts that aren't good for you. And I hope I'm not self-indulging in this. <laughs> <laughs> because I mean, it's like self <laughs> doing it in a way that that's not self-reflective. <laughs> I know we were talking. I've talked about this, but mm -hmm. what is this thing that you're now witnessing? But but it's it's that self. I feel like when I said that, it's more of that um, the small self indulging, the self that just keeps right. um, not like non reflecting, non uh, introspective. Mm -hmm. My, like I know what my intention is behind this, mm -hmm. to do this. It's really to be of service. It's, mm -hmm. yes, I feel like there's something of service to me, but the, the um, and Tuna's got to come in and say something. Hi. But I, I, I don't know. I think we just, part of it maybe is just talking, mm -hmm. you know, having conversation about our thoughts and letting Tuna air out her thoughts, <laughs> my cat. <laughs> um, yes, and also, um, what do you think? Well, I, I do think, you know, taking time every day to nourish that that part of your energetic self. Mm -hmm. So, you know, <laughs> so, um, you know, the time to do that is like taking quiet time with your cat. <clears throat> you know, if you're a cat person. Right. Um, cat person. But you do love my cat. And, and you know, like your cat. <laughs> Anyway, um, so taking the time every day to just yeah. stand, like you were saying, you could just stand just like one whole minute. That's it. You just take That's one whole minute and you just stand minute. in um, mountain pose, you know, which mm -hmm. is just um, like hands at the side, feet on the ground. Mm -hmm. And just close your eyes, breathe in. And like you were saying, breathe everything into the earth. Yeah. And then when you breathe out, breathe everything up throughout your head and just kind of connect both places, right? Yeah. <laughs> or just take a minute and pet your cat. Pet your cat. All right, this is our if longest one ever. It, oh, it is. Oh, if you're a cat person. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thanks for watching. We're I don't know what to say. This is this is live from. <laughs> yeah. Thanks yeah. for watching. Okay. Bye. The Bye. golden present. Practice standing.